Hi, how you going? Craig Emerson here from Mini Machines Direct. Right here next to me is our ML25W Mini Skid Steer Loader. This particular machine's fitted with uh, the 12 inch tyres. It's actually got four individual hydraulic drive motors driving those tyres. Um, if we just uh, take a little walk around, I'll show, a few, show you a few of the features and benefits. Right here you've got the battery isolator. You've got manual holder here for your operator's manual, pre-start boots, etc. You've got the lifting points. You've got front and rear tie down points. Um, you've got the spark resistor muffler here and up around the business end of the machine. This machine's coupled with the four-in-one bucket with teeth. Um, up the front you've got two sets of auxiliary hoses to run two different functions. Um, this one's fitted with the third case drain hose here for return to back to tank. Um, you've got the LED headlight. Uh, so next up we'll go around the back we'll check out the operator station. Okay, we're around here at the operator's station. Um, the operator's platform itself is sprung. Now it's a lot more smoother travelling for the operator as you're going over the rough ground, etc. Um, you've got dual fuel tanks here. They're self-balancing for even weight distribution. Lockable fuel caps on each side. Um, in terms of operating the machine, you've got your left hand here operates the two levers for the left and right wheels. So you can sort of just rock them back and forward with your, your thumb or your palm, whatever you feel most comfortable. Uh, this machine's also got the flow control valve, otherwise known as the trenching valve. So that effectively will take flow away from your drive motors and give them to the auxiliary lines up the front for faster trenching, etc. Also, the trenching valve is designed so that you can, when traveling reverse for trenching, you pull those two levers back, hold them back, full travel and you can just dial up this flinch, trenching flow control valve to adjust your travel speed. Um, so you've got the fuel gauge here, you've got the digital hour meter, all your warning lights, headlight switch. This switch here is your two speed travel so that effectively joins the two pumps together and gives you a faster travel speed. Uh, this lever here is your implement up and down operates your bucket etc. If you push that all the way forward it'll lock into D10 position and that'll allow these the lift arms to just follow the contours of the ground and float. So it's, it's quite good for back blading etc like that to leveling off the ground. Um, this lever here is your two auxiliary lines so if you push it left or right it'll stay into a detent and keep the flow going to the attachment whereas back and forward uh, that'll operate your things like cylinders, like four and one buckets, open and close, spring return on that one. Um, so in the back here, you've got the radiator. This particular machine's fitted with the diesel engine. It's got coolant in the radiator there. That side's the radiator, and this side is oil cooler. So it uses the engine. Um, so yeah. So uh, next up, we'll uh, we'll go and check out under the hood. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and open the hood. You've got two lockable latch levers here. Open them, lift the hood. And you'll notice the bonnet stay will lock into position to hold the, the bonnet open. So in here you've got your 25 horsepower, three-cylinder Kubota diesel engine. This uh, particular engine is Tier 4 rated. Uh, that's all to do with the EPA, Environmental Protection Act. So this is a Tier 4 rated engine. Um, as you can see, all the filters are easy access. You've got the fuel filters, the oil filters. You've got your dual stage Donaldson air cleaner in here. Easy access for servicing and maintaining the machine. Hydraulic systems protected with a 80 micron suction screen and return to oil, re return oil back to tank has got a 10 micron return filter. Uh, so there you go, everything's easy access, plenty of room around it. You've got your air intake on the side here for the uh, engine air intake. All the grease nipples are greasable. You've got bronze bushes on your arms. So there, there you go. If you've got any more questions, just give us a call. Phone us on 1300-449844 or email us at office at Mini Machines Direct. Look at our website, www.minimachinesdirect.com.au.